Now in this video, we're going to show you how to make this uh, set of files get in a different order. Right now, these are in the order that I took them. Okay, and what I want to do is make them change. I want to make them uh, have an order that makes sense to me. Now you can move them wherever you want. I can say I like this one more than this one. I can put all these little guys in a row. But what if you have a hundred pictures? That could take forever. So what you can do is drop through them and mark the ones you like, and ones you don't like. The easiest way to do that is to click on one and if they're not big enough you might have to zoom in to make them a little bigger here so we can see these little dots below those dots correspond to our rating our stars and you know what this picture I love it five stars way to go you rock now this other one over here well you know it's pretty good too you get four stars and this one over here cut off don't like it one star now, once you get done rating these, you can change the way they're sorted on the page. Up here in the top right-hand corner, it's going to say Sort Manually. I can tell it to do it by rating. And what it does is it'll sort it in the order I want. Now, in this case, it put the best there at the end, but I can also change the direction of that to where the best are shown first, and they go down in order. And then let's say I go back and say, you know what, this one here, that's a four star. This one here a three star they jump into into line you can do it like that and then you can actually rename them and renumber them again it's up to you what you do from there now we can sort them using the star method you can also sort them using keywords okay so for this one here I'm gonna go ahead and highlight these and I'm gonna go to keyword here and under keyword I'm gonna create a new one here down the bottom right hand corner I can say new keyword and this new keyword is going to be one of the most commonly used ones for me and that's stock because I use my images in all my lessons so I'm gonna put in stock now just because I wrote that doesn't mean they actually have that particular uh, keyword or tag applied to them I have to check it while they're selected now it says they cannot be changed. That's because some of these other files aren't actually pictures. So I'm just going to say yes. And so now, if I click off of those, you can see that each of these are marked with stock. And if I wanted to, I could also put in another one called flower. So we'll add another one called flower. And it looks like I accidentally threw that into the events category. I'm going to drag it down and put it underneath here so it's inside stock and now I have these are flowers I'm gonna check that one and you can see that this one here doesn't have that one on so now I'll highlight them all again and I'm gonna control click or command click on the Mac to remove those ones from my selection that I don't want and I'm gonna go ahead and check the flower it went from a minus sign because some of them were flowers but uh, some of them weren't so I checked it now they're all checked as flower and stock this is a great way to organize your work and help you find them later